Feel the waves cut through me Hypnotized By the sounds I'm breathing in Hold tight, hold tight Chemicals collide Hold tight, hold tight Hold tight What's up and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Amanda and I'm so glad that you're here. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I post videos every Tuesday and every Friday. Also, make sure you're following me on Instagram. I post there every single day about plus size fashion and makeup. Let's go ahead and jump into today's video. In today's video, we are doing the very popular video that pretty much every YouTuber does. And it is gonna be the what I got for Christmas video. So I always like to watch these videos to see what other people got. This video is not intended for bragging or whatever. I just think it's cool. I know I like to watch these videos. And so I thought I would share with you guys what I got for Christmas this year. My husband is in Korea this year. So we didn't actually get to spend Christmas together. Like physically, we were on FaceTime with each other on Christmas morning. He actually ordered me things from online and then he also sent me some things from Korea. And so I will share with you guys that and then my parents and my family got me a few things and I always do stockings first and so he did go ahead and send me over this stocking but I'm not really huge on like candy in my stockings I don't really eat a whole bunch of candy um, I know that that's a big misconception that plus size people eat so many candies and sweets but um, he did go ahead and send me some um, Kit Kats in one of these little candy cane things and he did send me a little bag of almond roca which is my favorite candy and that was pretty much all the candy that he got me this year my mom put this little hot chocolate in my stocking i think she got this in like one of those like multi-packs at like costco or something but it's a swiss miss hot cocoa and it's the marshmallow flavor that was everything that was in my stocking so the first gift that i got was actually from my mom and um I've really been like really enjoying Jeffree Star lately. Um, I wasn't a huge fan of him because of all of his controversies and like his attitude like back in the day, but I've really come to like him and his growth as a person. I saw these brushes in Ulta and I told my mom that I wanted them and they are the Morphe X Jeffree Star, the Jeffree Star Eye Brush Collection. It's um, 10 eye brushes and the bag. The bag is super cute, really pink. And nice it's just a little carrying bag that it says Morphe and Jeffree Star and then it had 10 brushes in it I already took the brushes out and I've been using them I used them today on my eyeshadow and I love them but they're really really nice brushes I love Morphe brushes and so I knew like when I told my mom I wanted them that they were gonna be really nice good quality like a good weight the bristles don't come out or anything these are all the brushes that come with it and yeah they're very very nice I used five of them so far and I quite enjoy them so thank you mom very nice the next thing that I got was um, some bath bombs I'm a big bath person I love to soak in the tub and it's like one of my favorite things to do so my mom got me some Ulta Beauty sugar rainbow bath rocks I don't like to use like the big huge bath bombs from like lush and like I feel like those are a waste I like to cut them like in half and use half of them because I just feel like you don't they're so expensive so I like that these ones are just little tiny little pieces that I can just put in there and enjoy in my bath without being wasteful so these ones I haven't smelled them yet let me open them and smell them let's see oh yeah they smell really really good kind of like rainbow sherbet like that ice cream that's what they smell like so my mom and I were out Christmas shopping with my dad doing shopping for like the rest of my brothers and sisters and we were out walking around and we walked past a Pandora store and so we saw that outside they had the Pandora collection of bracelets that were Harry Potter and I'm obsessed with Harry Potter I love Harry Potter so much and so we went in and we wanted to see what they looked like because they only saw like a sign and so we went inside and saw the collection and they have really really cute like um, different charms on them but the charms are pretty expensive for one charm it's $55 and then I believe the bracelet itself is around a hundred so these bracelets are not cheap and then fast forward to Christmas Day I opened it up and my dad not only got one from my mom because he asked me if she would like it and I said yes but he also got one for me and so he got me like a starter bracelet the cool thing about these bracelets though is the clasp to get it on and off your wrist is actually a snitch which is really cool. You just kind of unclasp it and then there you go. 
you can put the new charms on it and then my dad also got me the Harry Potter charm which I am a Hufflepuff and so he got me the Hufflepuff charm and it says patience dedication and loyalty and that's like my house slogan and I'm going to start collecting the rest of them they have like a Ron a Hermione a Harry Potter they have the Hogwarts Express, they have the Hogwarts Castle. So I'm gonna start collecting each of the charms, but I'm glad that my dad got this for me and now I can start uh, adding on. The funny thing is like when I was opening the gift, I was like, oh my God, my dad put the gift in the wrong box. And he's like looking at me like, no, open it. But my mom hadn't even opened that gift yet. So I was like really confused. It was a nice surprise. Thanks dad. To go along with the Harry Potter theme, my sister and her fiance, Anthony, know that I love Harry Potter as well and I have insomnia really bad I'm not sure if you guys knew that but it's hard for me to get tired and in order for me to fall asleep I have to be like exhausted so it's really nice for me to be able to read books before I go to sleep because it makes my eyes tired it makes my brain tired so every night I read the Harry Potter books because I've read them so many times that I continue to read those ones over and over again I don't want to be too interested in it because I've already read them so then I can actually get tired towards like it was a new book that I read every night then I would be interested in what was going on in the book and then I wouldn't be able to fall asleep. So I read Harry Potter every single night. I have all of the books, like the whole vault down here, like by my bed and I switch them out as I go. So I read all seven of the books. So my sister and Anthony got there the Hogwarts bookends. So you put the books in between them and then they hold them together. I'm gonna set them up over here on my little bookshelf. I love Harry Potter and so I'm really glad that they got this for me. The next gift that I got is from Dan. Well, I told him a while ago that I wanted these and so he remembered that I wanted these and he got me the Apple AirPods. Um, I have been going to the gym a lot lately and so I wanna be able to work out with them. Um, I do have small ears though and so headphones are kind of weird for me. I don't like like the over the ear ones. They like crush my ears, but then earbuds end up falling out. So hopefully these ones won't bother my little ears. I'm the worst when it comes to headphones because my cord always gets tangled up and it just really irritates me. So I'm really glad to have ear pods that I can just pop in my ears and get to listen to the music. I've been wanting to get like more fit because we're going to be moving to Italy next year and there is a lot of uphills. So when I went to Korea and Japan and we went to Europe over in Paris and London, they walk everywhere and I'm sure it's going to be the exact same way in Italy, probably worse. And they have like a lot of stairs and uphill and cobblestones and I just feel like I need to be like better shape. My lungs need to be like in better shape so but I'm not doing it for a weight concept. I want to start working out so I can be healthier and be in better shape for when I move to Italy and so to go along with that I wanted to get a new Fitbit. So I had the old Fitbit Flex and I really loved it. It was just really simple. I mean, it didn't have heart rate on it or anything, but it told me I had my steps, which was nice. And so I would wear it all the time when I went to Disneyland and when I used to work. Recently, the band on it broke, like snapped off. And so I figured it was time to just upgrade it. I had it for like five years. And so I wanted to get a new one. And so I went online, I did a lot of research. And so I told Dan that I wanted the Fitbit Versa. This is the light edition, but this one's swim proof. It, tracks your heart rate. It also does sleep tracking, which is another thing that I wanted to track. It also tells you like your smartphone. So if someone calls you, you can answer on it. You can also like text on it and stuff. And then it has up to four days of battery life. My mom has one of the older Fitbits, but it tracks like how she sleeps. So if she's tossing and turning or if she's awake or how many minutes of deep sleep she gets. So I wanna be able to track all of that stuff. And so this one does that, so that's really nice. As like an added accessory, he also got me this pack from Amazon with eight different interchangeable bands. It has a bunch of different colors. And so I, it also had rose gold. And so I love rose gold. I went ahead and changed the band from the blue band and I changed it to the rose gold. The next item that I got um, also went along with my ear pods. I like the color pink. Dan knows that and so he got me this little ear pod case. Or ear pod case just goes inside it. So the one that comes with Apple goes inside the case and then it just closes. It also has this little carabiner that you can connect to like your bag, like inside your purse or something so that you don't lose your little ear pods in your bag and you're shuffling for them and everything. I wouldn't suggest leaving them outside your bag because anybody could just steal them. And then you can still charge your ear pods 
through the bottom of this case and then it came with a little carrying case as well so i have my ear pod charger right here and then the little accessories that came with the ear pod uh, i like to have that added little storage case in here for my charger and everything so it's not just like free balling it in my purse because that's an easy way to get your stuff dirty and also get it lost so happy to have that next item that i got was actually from my mother-in-law um she always sends me something for christmas and she knows that i get a lot of things sent to me now like makeup and clothing and stuff so i think it's a little bit harder for people to shop for me now so she went ahead and sent me a gift card and everybody can use a gift card she actually made this card too for me she's a really really crafty person like me so i can totally appreciate it it's a really pretty card and she has really pretty like calligraphy handwriting and then she sent me a gift card to starbucks and you know your girl can always use some Starbucks. That's like a super awesome gift to get people because everybody uses Starbucks. And we don't always wanna spend our own money. Thank you to my mother and father-in-law for sending that to me. Uh, it's gonna to go to good use because I love coffee. So when I vlog, I normally use my G7X handheld camera. Every once in a while though, I like to use my phone to vlog. Sometimes I won't have my camera and I'll be in the mall or something and I wanna shoot a video for you guys. And so I'll use my iPhone, which has good quality video as well. So. Um, we have a stabilizer for our G7X. Dan also has a G7X. He has a stabilizer for the G7X with him in Korea. A stabilizer is just basically something that keeps your video steady instead of like shaky and like, you know, turning really quickly and stuff. This just keeps it really smooth and nice. So my friend Natasha went ahead and got me a stabilizer for my cell phone. And so this will be really nice when I'm vlogging and stuff. I won't have to carry my camera on me if I don't want to. When I'm in Disneyland, it'll be really nice because I won't have to carry my camera around and have to worry about like the batteries dying and all that stuff I'll just have my phone and then I'll have my charger and then I will use this stabilizer on my phone it give me a lot better quality of vlogs I know this one's like a really nice one so that was really awesome that is for me it's called the Osmo mobile 3 combo I haven't opened it yet because I haven't had time to play with it as it's just now the day after Christmas but this one comes with the carrying case it also has a grip tripod the power cable a storage pouch and it also comes with a wrist strap it comes with quite a few little accessories which is nice so you don't have to buy that separately hopefully you guys will notice a difference when i'm using my phone this will be a lot better quality when i'm vlogging so i might end up using this, my phone a lot more to vlog because i have this now and so i'll just throw this in my purse since it is really small and light and i can just go ahead and have really good quality vlogs that are not all jumpy thank you natasha for getting this for me okay so you guys know i have an obsession with disney um i collect the lounge fly backpacks i have about 10 of them maybe more and i just realized the other day when i was looking at my collection i only have the boy character backpacks i have stitch and i have peter pan and up was kind of a boy movie and i have hercules and bugs life i have toy story i have harry potter so that's kind of boyish so i don't have any girl backpacks and so i saw this one in box lunch and i was telling my mom that i really liked it I was tempted to buy it but I was shopping for other people and so I didn't want to spend money on myself and I just hoped that it wouldn't sell out because a lot of times you want to buy it when you see it because it will sell out and then a lot of times they don't restock them and so you end up missing out on a backpack that you really love and if you really want it then you have to pay for like the scalpers that sell them on eBay and it ends up being like double or triple the price so luckily my mom was listening to me when I said I liked it and she got it for me so this is all of the princess high heels and then the other thing that i love about it is look at this little crown the zipper is a rose gold crown for the princesses and then the zipper is also rose gold then on the inside it is this really pretty pink color it is so girly so for me to go from no girly backpacks to get one of the girliest ones i've seen super excited about these backpacks are super expensive this one was 70 dollars they're really good quality i still have all of mine none of them have ever broken or anything i use them constantly i don't just use them when i go to disneyland thank you so much mom for this bag i finally have a girl princessy bag and i'm excited so this one is going to go up on my shelf with all my other ones and i love it to go along with that lounge fly backpack if you guys don't know um i love peter pan my husband and i share that both of us love peter pan and so whenever they come out with a lounge fly backpack that is peter pan i always try to snatch it up because they don't really have a lot of the older movie characters a lot of the times i saw this one a while ago on lounge fly's website and my husband 
actually got it for me. It's like the map for Peter Pan. So it has the Jolly Roger on here, it has the island down here, it has them flying. It also has Skull Rock, which I think is really cool. I love these bags. They are the perfect bags for Disneyland and you can just put your waters and everything. You can fit, you can fit so much stuff in these backpacks. It's actually kind of crazy. You can fit so much water, you can fit ponchos, you can fit an extra pair of clothes. I even fit shoes in here. Um, it's crazy how much stuff fits in this bag. The last gift that I got is something that I got from my husband. I have been using this little makeup mirror for a very long time. It's all beat up, has makeup on it. Um, I actually broke it one time and had to glue it back together, but I glued it back together with like this white glue and so now you can see that it's glued together. I love this mirror. I got it from Ross a really long time ago and so I've been wanting to get a bigger mirror, um, but it's really hard because my camera setup, I have my camera mounted to the wall with my ring light. So before Dan left, he mounted everything to the wall. He has it all set up for me so that I don't have to have a tripod like I used to have in my old beauty room because that was really kind of a pain. So now it's a little easier when I want to turn my camera to film over here when I'm doing like a try on or something then I can easily do that I just shift it and then it's like on a ball and a hinge so it's super super nice and convenient that being said I can't get a really big vanity mirror like I want to like I sent a whole list of things that I wanted um, for Christmas to my husband I Sent like 50 things on a list of things that we would be interested in getting for Christmas and then they can just choose whatever they want to pick for you off of the list it's this really big mirror you guys can see back there that's my camera mounting set it's freaking awesome um i'll have him send me over which one he bought for me and i'll have it linked for you guys and so the cool thing about this mirror is there's this little button down here that's where the water sprayed on it but here's this button that actually changes the light mode that you have it on so it has a yellow warm light and then this one's more of a blue light and then that one is like more of a natural daytime light. So that's the one I've been using mostly. But now I don't have to use my ring light if I don't want to. This mirror is really big. I can see like my whole head and like my whole body. So when I'm doing my hair, I can see all of my hair and I can see my whole face and everything. I can actually put it right here in front of the camera and I can still see into the mirror and you guys can still see me. So a big thank you to my husband for getting that for me. I'm super stoked and grateful to have that. I'll link everything that I can find in the description box for you guys. So that if you wanna pick up any of these things for yourself, then you can. That was everything I got for Christmas. What did you guys get for Christmas? Go ahead and tell me that in the comment section. I would love to know what you guys got. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys are not subscribed to my channel, you should be. I post videos on Tuesdays and Fridays. Also, make sure you're following me on Instagram. I post there almost every single day about plus size fashion and makeup. As always, remember, be your own kind of beautiful. And toodles for now.